If you get involved in the Entrepreneurship Center, the opportunities are endless. Hello and welcome to this edition of the State of Soy. I'm Aaron Putzi and we're coming to you from the campus of Iowa State University where I'm visiting with Kevin Kimley. He is a teaching professor. He also helps lead the Entrepreneurship Center here within the College of Agriculture here at Iowa State. And also Caleb Frostestad, who is a sophomore studying animal science, also some agronomy, and interested in entrepreneurship. Kevin, the Iowa Soybean Association is proud to be a partner, a sponsor of the Entrepreneurship Center. For people watching this, what is the center? So it includes courses, but the things that are being supported by the Iowa Soybean Association would include experiences of students. And so one type of experience, for example, is study abroad, where we do a course in combination with travel abroad, where we work to expose students to ideas and issues and parts of the world that may do things differently. And how many years have you been leading that travel abroad program, which really does help students gain a, a global understanding of, of agriculture? Uh, 16 years. We have been to almost every continent. We have been to Europe to a number of countries, we have been to Africa, we have been to South America, and we have been to Asia. Wow. And of course, as a sophomore here at Iowa State University, Caleb, and somebody who got involved in the Entrepreneurship Center, really from the moment you walked onto campus, where did you travel to? And just share a little bit about the experience. Yeah, absolutely, Aaron. This February, I had an opportunity to travel with Kevin and the group from the Entrepreneurship Center. We went to Brazil to gain a, a new diverse perspective on agriculture, both livestock and crop side of things. I had just the wow factor, right, of wow, the, the scale of agriculture in Brazil. I remember the first soybean farm we went to actually was had nine combines running and I, average farm size of 10,000 acres or more. Throughout the trip, I enjoyed learning about some of the uh, technologies they're utilizing to improve upon their sustainability. One of those I'd mention would be the sea and spray technology, as well as just the high percentage of, of farmers down there that use no-till practices. And you know, truly just enjoyed learning about the two crop system that they have and just the intensity of, as soon as you harvest your soybeans, you better be in the field planting corn just overall a lot of takeaways during the trip. As you think about your time there, Kevin, and what you and the students experienced, what stood out in terms of its application for the Iowa soybean farmer? What we've always enjoyed is bringing good people together from different countries to learn different things. You know, I think we've always appreciated the importance of value-added agriculture, taking the commodity and learning how to add value, whether it's for food purposes or livestock purposes or fuel purposes or whatever the case may be. And certainly coming back from seeing the scale of agriculture in Brazil, continuing to double down on value-added agriculture is important. Also with their two crop season, their flexibility for trying to do some experiments with things like microbial inputs is really interesting. And so while Brazil farmers look to us for technology and learning, and rightfully so, I think there are certain areas at least where we can learn from them as well. And Caleb, you know, the Iowa Soybean Association, again, proud to have quite a footprint here at Iowa State University in support, too, of the center. What would be your advice or recommendation to other students who maybe have not had a chance to get involved? Maybe they don't know about the center. What would you like your fellow students to know? If you get involved in the Entrepreneurship Center, the opportunities are endless. Whether you do end up pursuing a, a travel experience or whether you simply participate in the the events that they host throughout the semester, the networking with industry professionals or their peers. I know through my participation in the Changemaker Academy and the Entrepreneurship Incubator Program, I've met many students who I know I will continue to embrace that connection with as I graduate and go out into the industry. And I'm thankful for the connections I've made with Kevin and Emma Waterhouse and Jim Groper and other faculty. And I would just say go for it. And way to drop those names in there too. You're very good, excellent marketer, and you're gonna succeed. Yeah. Wish you all the best in your career. Kevin, thank you again for the opportunity for Iowa Soybean to partner with you. Again, the Entrepreneurship Center doing a lot of great work within the College of Agriculture here at Iowa State and helping advance the next generation of agriculturalists here in Iowa. Reporting for this edition of the State of Soy, I'm Aaron Putzi. Do you remember when you first believed that anything was possible? 
Do you remember when you had doubt? Obstacles you couldn't overcome? Do you remember when you pushed through the pain and refused to quit? Remember, He created you for this.